This is Sarah from Glitchfeed bringing you a quick look at Square Enix's E3 conference. Square Enix took the stage to feature their upcoming titles, giving us a bit more insight on the previously announced along with some surprise reveals. They kicked off their conference with a summary trailer showing us what's coming in Just Cause 3. It is guaranteed that you will be able to destroy anything in your path as you travel across this new open world setting and take advantage of some of the upgraded tools. Just Cause 3 is set to release this holiday season for current gen and PC. Square dropped off an announcement trailer for their near new project, which is still in early development along with its name. It is a third person RPG follow up to the 2010 hit. We only got a few concept art clips and a small character preview, but we will get more information on the title this fall. They provided another look at Rise of the Tomb Raider, but since this game has been covered in multiple conferences already, they took the approach of showcasing their development of Lara's features. Expect a lot more news on the title in the upcoming months before its release. So we got a trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3, and this game looks like it safely made the leap to the current generation. Square Enix confirmed that Tangled would also be featured as a level in their game, and the trailer revealed the Titan from Hercules and a Pegasus summon. We weren't quite expecting this trailer, but it was a very pleasant surprise. What were your reactions to Kingdom Hearts 3? Let us know in the comments below. And we got another cute trailer of World of Final Fantasy, as well as some further explanation from the developer about the intent of the game. This title in the franchise is set to open up to a wider audience of fans. The goal of this title was for all ages, so that's why they made a new visual and gameplay style that fits that appearance, with it being more toy-like. They are looking to release the game sometime in 2016. More Hitman reveals came with a new cinematic trailer. This trailer featured the sandbox open world content of the game. In Hitman, you will be able to tackle an assassination contract from any and all angles. There is no direct path towards success. It is what you make it. Hitman is set to release on December 8th for current generation in Steam. We also found out that Square Enix is teaming up with Triace to release the next title in the Star Ocean franchise. Called Integrity and Faithlessness, we got a preview at the gameplay trailer with some exciting features. It appears that you will get a team of six fighters to take to battle in the classic Star Ocean mechanics. It is set for a North American and European release on PlayStation 4 sometime in 2016. And we finally got some information on the plot of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It's two years after the previous title, and Adam Jensen has joined a new task force to stop terrorist attacks. But he is also working as a double agent within the task force. Hmm, sounds like it'll be interesting. Mankind Divided is set for a 2016 release. And Square Enix wrapped up their press conference by bringing up their roots. They got nostalgic as they showcased some early development concept art from their newest RPG in studio. Project Setsuna is in development by Tokyo RPG Factory and is set to have a global release sometime in 2016. That wraps up Square Enix's major announcements during the conference. Let us know in the comments below how you felt about the trailer and news. We've got other overviews for the big E3 press conferences, so make sure to subscribe to our channel to catch them all, follow us on Twitter at Glitchfeed, and check out our weekly Glitchfeed podcast where we'll run down all of our favorites from E3.